Alrighty guys, welcome back to Star Wars Review. Today I am uh, reviewing uh, Crimson Rain Issue 2, which is subbed out of uh, Part 2 of The Assassins, which was written by Charles Soul with art by Stephen Cummings and was released saw on February 2nd, 2022. So yeah, which I thought was another uh, good issue. This one puts more of the focus on Ochi and Deathstick. We, uh, you know, l learn more about their motives for, you know, like joining Crimson Dawn and wanting to uh, fight the Sith and, uh, you know, kind of why they're assassins. With uh, Ochi, obviously the, the Sith uh, blinded him. Uh, we saw that in the uh, Darth Vader series. And so that's, you know, kind of why he wants to, you know, go after Sith. Uh, but uh, Kira says, you know, talks about why he's an assassin and whatnot. Uh, she says that, you know, he kills because, you know, he's a he's afraid. Which, you know, is, uh, you know, a lot of what we've uh, seen in the uh, Vader series. In the Vader series, you know, he does kind of try to... Um, do stuff without getting uh, as involved, but uh, yeah, um, obviously with uh, Death Stick, you know, she's a Death Amirian and was a Night Sister, and um, Kira had uh, told her that it was a Palpatine who ordered uh, the death of her people, and so, you know, Death Stick wants to get revenge uh, for that, but uh, Kira, you know, says that she kills because, you know, she feels alone, and I guess she wants uh, others to be alone too, but uh, we see Kira send uh, both of them on their own separate missions. Uh, Ochi heads to a uh, Coruscant and he gets like this poison. She uh, then sends in this uh, droid. Um, the, the droid is like the one uh, we saw in the uh, Attack the Clones. Uh, send those worm thingies in the Padme's room, but uh, he sends the droid to put poison into the food of uh, these Imperial Royal Guards, uh, which the droid successfully does that, and they. Guards eat it, but uh, Ochi learns that the one guard had uh left and not didn't you know didn't eat. Uh, so Ochi has to kind of find him, and uh, Ochi does, and kind of snipes him with like some poison. Uh, which the guard knows like notices something, but doesn't think too much of it. Which later we see uh Palpatine's throne room, and uh Palpatine enters with uh Masamati, and uh you know while they're Entering all the guards drop dead, which, um, Amadi says, you know, uh, they're all dead, sir, which, uh, Palpatine says, uh, I can see that, which, uh, I thought that was a funny moment, but, uh, while that was going on, we see Death Stick on her, on her mission, which, uh, ties into the, uh, Bounty Hunter series, because she is sent to assassinate, uh, this girl named, uh, Cadillai, who's the, uh, heir to these two Corellian crime syndicates, uh, but that been a kind of ongoing, uh, plot line of the uh ongoing uh, bounty hunters series involves this girl and whatnot but um you know we, we see uh Destic kind of maybe hesitate on the mission at first but she eventually heads uh to the planet uh catalyze app which is called um Penisha, i think uh, which um catalyze hiding uh with the rebels at this uh rebel base on the planet uh which you know, Death Stick needs a distraction to, uh, you know, get Cali. So she, uh, reports, uh, the rebel base to the Empire and kind of waits, uh, for the Imperials to arrive, which, uh, they do. And obviously all the rebels are distracted by the Imperials. So she swoops in and takes Cali, which I guess her uh, mission the whole time was to, uh, capture her alive. So she takes, uh, her back to, uh, Kira, which, um, Cali had, like, this, like, sleepy thingy on her head, uh, so she wasn't, like, conscious, uh, while, um, Destic, uh, was transporting her to, uh, Kira, so Kira deactivates it and, uh, introduces herself to Catalyb, and that's where the issue ends, so, you know, like I said, I thought it was a good issue, I like diving into the, uh, assassins, I like the, uh, missions they were sent on, we do, uh, learn a little bit more about them, nothing, like, super duper crazy, you know, everything about Ochi, you know, kind of, Nice to actually have that said, hit kind of more of his motives, but it was kind of, you could have figured it out, uh, easily, and Destic also, uh, you know, nice to finally get that fully said, but, you know, she was a Dathomirian and, and a uh, Night Sister, so it makes sense, you know, that she would want to go after Sith, but, you know, she didn't know his Palpatine until uh, Kira told her, so, yeah, but, um, I also liked how the, uh, she uh, tied into the Bounty Hunter series, uh, so far with the, uh, Crimson Rain and all the tie-ins, I've definitely liked it better than the War of the Bounty Hunter series, uh, kind of allows all the other series to have their own 
stories about Crimson Dawn. It's kind of still in the uh, backdrop. And there's maybe a few little tie-ins to this series. Uh, where War of the Bounty Hunters it just was like, you know, the main miniseries. And then each series kind of like just showed it from a different point of view. So it felt like it took a long ass time. Um, and it didn't kind of allow the other series to have their own stories. So definitely I like this a little bit better. But uh, I'm definitely excited to see where everything goes with uh, Crimson Dawn in this series and whatnot. And in the next one, definitely excited for the uh, next two issues. Because uh, issue three will be about the uh, character of the Archivist. It was introduced in this series. It's very uh, mysterious so far. So definitely excited to learn more about them. Uh, and then I believe issue four will follow the Knights of Ren. Uh, which obviously we know about them. But we don't know, uh, you know about them during this era. So, uh, definitely interested in, uh, that. So, yeah, but, uh, my grade for this issue, I'm gonna give it a B plus. So, yeah, but, uh, that's gonna be it for this one. I think my next, uh, comic review will be Darth Vader issue, uh, 19, or I think it's 20, issue 20. So, you check that out then, but, uh, in the meantime, you check out my other, um, comic reviews. I uh, review for issue one of Crimson Rain and everything else I do. I've been Sarzu and I'll catch you guys in the next one.